I'm just having a little flyabout. But I'm looking for something in particular. I've looked high. I've looked low. I've looked until my eyeballs exploded out of my face. I've been everywhere. I've searched. I've scoured. I've... What's another synonym for looking around for things? It doesn't matter. I'm at my wits end. I cannot find an azalea tree. I... Oh. Oh. I dig down. Found it. Hmm. I don't see it. Wait. Wait, is that it? That's it. I'm Exit Flagger, and this is Survival Builds. I've got axolotls. I've got two axolotls. That's all I was looking for. I just wanted to get some axolotls, breed them, just to keep me company. Not pathetic. Don't say it's pathetic. Actually, I'm just going to bring them over here and set them free in the mangrove swamp. Just uh, some free range axolotls, and then I'm going to try to breed them. Now use fish. For, I, I don't. Right? Fit, tropical fish? Yeah. Uh, is this how you breed them? I never have. Uh, but I think so. I know it's how... I know you feed them tropical fish. Free-range axolotls are already kind of a pain. Aren't they? And where's the other one? Oh, he's just hard to see. You and... You. No. Did it work? Oh, <laughs> a pervy axolotl. Okay. By the way, I did go to the end. I went end busting off a of camera. Check out my end loot for elytra, for spare elytra, uh, and you know diamonds gear. Shulker boxes. Actually, I got to make some shulker boxes. And let's just... <laughs> beetroots. I honestly... This is the first time I found beetroot seeds were in the end. They're useful. Red dye. What do you want from me? So, I, I've been hearing something in my home. If you look at that... Yeah, see, I can hear a zombie somewhere nearby. And I looked underneath. I dug out all, uh, all around underneath looking for a cave... I look at, if you look at the arrows and the subtitles here, I to, I'm pretty sure there's a zombie in the wall. <laughs> there he is. Ooh, and snazzy gold armor. Well, he's ready for the club. He looks pretty good. Let's get him out of here. Okay, I'm going to dig out a little hole for him to keep him out of the sun. Maybe we can use him later. Come on. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. It, the, it wouldn't let me sleep because of him. Yeah, get down here. He's in. That's it. I'll turn him around a little bit. No. Ouch. Ow. And he's in. Super. Okay, so what are we doing today? Well, you can see behind me I started sort of... Uh, lands Is that a cat? Well, I've got to get that cat. I started kind of landscaping over here. Uh, this is where I want to build the villager trading hall. I started kind of fleshing out where it's going to go. Um, but not today. Today, I want to work on creating kind of a giant tree around. Let's get a better view. 
So I want to make a giant tree and it's going to kind of wrap around, uh, sort of frame the wool farm here. And, uh, and I'll probably make some more, but I'm going to start with one. It's going to be like a mangrove tree, but gigantic, kind of fantastical, uh, just a big swampy tree. And then I'm going to probably make some more uh, trees later. But I also want to add, uh, oh, I don't know. I want this to be like a goblin core village with more structures over here, maybe like a little sidewalk, like boardwalk. Uh, trails. I got to fill it in, really kind of transform this area and just add more farms, more, uh, what were we doing? The uh, melon farm, the, uh, yeah, that'll all be right here and kind of pushed back up the hill here. So I begin the build by, uh, I use birch to sort of sketch out the tree. I just want to see what it looks like in the space. And birch stands out against the background. Uh, this is not the final block. This is just so I can take a look and then you know come back and make adjustments as needed. Eventually I replace the birch with the final wood block, although this is not going to be the final wood. I, I used mangrove at first and uh, made some more adjustments, but then I realized that the mangrove log is, uh, it, it just disappears. Uh, I want it to stand out against the background, so I changed it for some stripped wood. Uh, that's stripped birch, stripped oak, uh, jungle, spruce. I'm looking for a sort of a gradation here. And uh, it's looking a little better. At least it, it sort of uh, pops out against the dark background, right? Of course, I've added some fences for branches. And it's all going to get covered. Uh, I start putting in these lights, which will also be covered by leaves. And another thing I do is I use uh, green glass panels. They're almost invisible, but they... They fill up some space and I can use them to place leaves out and around and sort of uh, make it a little airier without, without looking weird, I hope. Uh, that's, at least that's the goal. So I'm using all kinds of different uh, blocks for the leaves. You'll notice I'm using some solid blocks. There's some green wool and... Um, moss so yeah I you know it's almost done it's looking pretty good just some finishing touches and I think we're done I finished the tree this sort of large, swampy mangrove tree. This is the best views from down here, looking up at it. I think that's the best view. The other vantage point would be over here, and kind of using this as a, a way of looking at it. Oh, I fell. Yeah, it's okay. It kind of blends in with the, the mangrove canopy in the back, which is fine. You know, I'm okay with that. Uh, I like that you can kind of see through the canopy a little bit. It feels kind of real to me that you can see the sky through there. Uh, I use quite a few different kinds of blocks. Terracotta, uh, melons, wool, moss. A lot of different textures and a lot of different colors. And the eye, you know, up close, maybe it's not as convincing. I don't know, maybe I should... Stay away from organics. Uh, but from down here, you can see what I was kind of going for, which is a little bit of a gradient, uh, like a gradation from a lighter, more saturated green down into the sort of regular mangrove leaves. Uh, all of these vines are from the trees behind it. To give you an idea of how, how much it kind of just blends in here. But that's fine. This is a swamp. It's a 
It's our Goblin Core Swamp Village. I started a, uh, I don't know what you would call that, a boardwalk, a sidewalk. I like it. I like the gravel. Uh, it's like gravel, moss, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good, I think. Oh, it's looking great. I think it looks fantastic. We'll go over here. Yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. The axolotls have disappeared, all three of them, and it's really upsetting me. Now, I know where they are. They're in a cave. But the more uh, upsetting thing like that's really making me sad, because I can find the axolotls and put them in buckets and bring them back. Uh, the frogs have disappeared. I had four frogs. They're all gone completely. I cannot find them. The axolotls, I know, are down. They're down in this cave. Look, I've got the subtitles on the side there. Uh, at least the last time, I, yeah. Axolotl chirps. They're down here somewhere. I don't know where, but I'll find them. Get some water breathing potions. Maybe some, bring some doors down there. But I'll find them. I know they're in the cave. The frogs. And this is really making me sad. I have no idea where the frogs are. So I'm going to review the footage from the uh, replay mod and see if I can, well, see if I can see what happened to them. But that's going to take a little bit of time. It's time to look for the axolotls. Right, Gary? Okay, so I went down into the hole looking for the axolotls and uh, you can see axolotl chirps. I'm looking around. I know it's here somewhere. I'm thinking there's like a cave down here. I look around. Can't see anything. I should have got a potion of night vision. But on the way back up, and you probably saw it on the way down. Uh, I found one. So I got one. Grab them. Uh, it was stuck under this ledge. And I look around. Are there any more? No. Uh, so I keep looking. I, I spend hours, <laughs> really. Like, I probably spent maybe two hours looking everywhere for for these axolotls. I don't even know where I am. Oh, I'm on the other side of my base. Kind of surprised by that. This underwater cave system is extensive. So I come up here. Oh, it's that. So I found one of the frogs. I wasn't even looking for it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I tried to put it in a bucket. I'm an idiot. It's not how frogs work. So I know there's a frog. I leave him there. I go into the ocean. I'm in the ocean nearby just thinking maybe they just swam out. Maybe they're they're trying to swim home to the, the lush cave. I don't know where they are. I'm looking everywhere. And uh, I go back to my base and I decide to look uh, over on this side, kind of near the uh, the villagers and the, um, the mob farm. Is there a cave here that I missed? Are they stuck here somewhere? Is there, is there you know, I don't know. I'm searching everywhere. And I find this little cave. This is interesting. Okay. Um... I'm intrigued. We'll go down. We'll look. And we're going to check subtitles. Is that a... Uh, what is? It? What do they call that? A uh, geode? Oh, axolotl chirps. Oh, there it is. There's another one. Try to get them. It's kind of difficult. It's really stuck in there. How'd you get in there? Anyway, there's a geode. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I was looking all over for a geode. Of course, there was one right under my base. So I go back and I go into the geode, which opens up. The water is pouring right into it. Kind of cool, actually. Maybe I'll come back and do something with this. I have no idea what, but there could be a cool build here somewhere. Axolotl chirps. 
Axolotl chirps, where are you? Oh, uh, invisible. How did I find that? Okay, that was pretty crazy. I don't know how I even saw it. But uh, but there it is. I got all three axolotls. And now it's time to get the frog. And I just go, this is the uh, cave I made for them that I was using to breed the frogs back in those days of frog romance. And I just kind of drag it through. Yeah, I take it back through here. I found something about the frogs re, uh, looking at the replay mod. Watch this frog vanish into another dimension. Okay, so I, I checked. I do fly away, and that's why it disappears. But it reappears in a different spot, and that is unusual. Yeah, that is really strange. So I come back and it reappears over in a completely different part of the mangrove. And I checked, I re-looked at the footage, I looked at all of the other frogs. They all vanish eventually. This is the only one that comes back and it comes back in a different spot. I don't know why the others didn't return, but I have to go to the nether to get another one so that I can breed and get some more frogs. You can see that I've updated the little frog enclosure here in the nether. Made it a little homey. Um, hopefully they like it and they won't vanish. I'm leaving three of them down here and I'm going to take one of them up with me so that I could breed it with the frog that I have found up in the overworld. And uh, let's get all of the lights we can get here. Okay, I think that's good. You ready to go back? All right. This isn't going to work, is it? This is just going to be a nightmare. Come on. I know I made it so cozy that you want to stay here. But I'm going to take you to an actual swamp. I got to clean this up, too. This stairway down here is pretty disgusting. Come on, bud. We're going up. And for creepers. Now that the frogs are back safe, uh, well, I do have some slimes still. I could breed them, but not just yet. What I want to do now is finish the sort of boardwalk here that takes us over to the other side, and then I'm going to give the axolotls a place to live over here. It's time to address that situation. So let me finish this walkway. Okay, so I'm done with I've finished the walkway from the farms to my little pond over here. And this is, of course, where the uh, villager trading hall is going to be. This is where my sugarcane is growing. Now, I'm going to take this down right now because uh, I'm going to make a sugarcane farm over here. Uh, might, maybe I'll leave some of it just sort of naturally growing over here. Well, let's take it. I can replant it in a little bit. Um, I'm going to go down and see. It doesn't look like there's any caves. I didn't think that. I think I've been in here before. There aren't any caves. I'm going to just kind of leave it as is. No place for them to get lost. Uh, I can transform the bottom of this pond a little bit, make it a little mossier, uh, muddier. And, of course, really terraform the surrounding area and make it a little more lush. Uh, maybe build a tree, not a mangrove tree, but a swampy kind of tree nearby here. And we'll let the axolotls loose 
in this pond. So through the magic of video editing, I'll stand on what the heck. I'll stand on this brick and we'll uh, we'll transform it. Okay. And we are done. I didn't realize there would be an obstruction in my way here, but uh, when I first started building this, so this is done, or at least as done as anything is in Minecraft, right? Don't we just keep working on, on our builds? Um, little tiny mini tree here. And look at these guys. They're loving it. They are loving this pond. And they cannot escape. Uh, I like it. Uh, yeah, it's got a little lights in the bottom. I guess we can see what it looks like at night, maybe. Um, let's go over here. So I just made it swampier, right? I added, um, besides the tree, I added mud and I added all kinds of stuff inside the pond. It was pretty barren and lifeless. And now it's a wild, thriving pond of light the stream too i i worked on the stream i don't let's get a better view so i worked on the stream a uh, little bit and i think it can use a little more work i'm not sure yet about the gravel or maybe i like the gravel just not where i've placed it specifically it could use some work uh i gotta get rid of all these torches and stuff we could do better we can make it look nicer it will we'll get there Look at them swim around, they love it. Yeah, I think it looks a, a lot nicer. Um, you know, I finished the boardwalk, comes over here. And this is where the villager trading hall is going to be. But I think that's really for uh, another episode. I was gonna say next episode, I don't wanna promise anything. I don't, I, I feel like I didn't really make a whole lot this episode, and yet I, I have spent so much time playing this game, mostly looking for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, next episode, maybe a villager trading hall. I really want the sheep to come. Here he comes. I really want the sheep to get right into the shot. Uh, yeah, I'm all done for today. Uh, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.